got a nice fox. Nice large fox. Front paw catch. Right there you can see a good front paw catch. These 175 bridgers seem to be working good. They hold the coyote and they work good for fox territory. So there you can see another good fox. We're going to take him with today. Way up on top of the mountain here. Just trying to set the ridges. It's better to set hollows. But here's a good example of a set. Just a regular stepping stick set. And I just placed them right there so they could step over and go in the hole. Out here in the morning checking these traps we set and looks like a deer walked by. One thing good about a step down is deer aren't in a big habit of stepping down in a hole so hopefully you miss them when they walk by that helps just having it on a taper. Now it's morning number one here and I'm out at these sets we made by these berries. We don't have any hardly any sets out but right here looks like we got a rabbit we didn't need help dispatching it because most chances an owl is going to come by at night and I think that's what happened here if you look right there there's its, the owl scat and they go right for the head right, right there they'll peck it then they'll decide if they want to eat it or not. They like to have a lot of fun just messing around with animals. So we'll remake this here. Hey, before we head back up on this railroad here, I'm going to take a stop here and I'm going to get these little pods for my fire starter. They make a real good fire starter. I'll keep them in my pocket a while, get them dry. what I can. Right now they're wet. I rode back the railroad tracks even further than my trap line. I wanted to show you this old bridge. I mean a nice arch bridge for the railroad. It's falling apart. But it's still here. And they have a nice stone wall built. And there's actually a nice spot to trap here. There's a creek coming in here and a creek right there. A whole bunch come in all at once. Out here on the bike trail, just wanted to show you the old turnaround for the train up there on the bank. Here's another trail, train track trail, and then down here. You see they really built this train track up high above the mountains. Here I found an old well. It's all filled in but you can see it was a well. And this is an old settlement back here they used to mine. There's an old house foundation. If you look close there's a wall on the left and in front is a wall. Here if you look close it looks like an old foundation. There's a wall on the left. Somewhere in the middle they might have had a building. It's definitely flat. Let's show you this building. It had a center support wall right there. And it just laid up in there. If you look at the rocks close you can see they definitely stacked them right here. Here's a definite building here. You can see the rocks they lined up here. The trees have all grown in it. 160 some years. That's what's left and that's what's going to be left to us. We don't last forever. And neither do our houses and the things that most people treasure. Back here in the wilderness, it's all you need to treasure. God's creation. Found a good place to set up base camp here and 
gonna make a fire like we were saying. I got a special tool today. It's a Trayer Wilderness multi-flame tool. And he gave this to me. He went to a lot of work to make this. It's a drill, uh, auger bit drill, a fire piston. I tested it. I'm using it for putting timber lags in to build shelters. We might build a base camp here yet. And you can fit your char cloth in here. Extra O-rings it comes with. I'll show you the fire piston. It has a nub for drilling that goes on. There's the fire piston. And here's the cylinder. The cylinder has the opening for the fire piston and a quarter inch driver for like screwdrivers and anything else like that. This ball comes off. You can fit a threaded piece for both of your gun clean kit things. Right here you got an inner and an outer thread and that works real good for pistols. He did a demonstration on the pistols. But we're gonna make this fire. We'll get started. I got some birch bark. Okay, we got a whole mix of tinder here. I got sawdust, birch bark. And we're gonna give the wilderness multi flame tool, fair wilderness multi flame tool, try here. I'm gonna lubricate it. You should carry oil like Vaseline or anything with. But the important thing is you have it super lubricated. And there we go, there's a flame. I'll just pick that out with my knife. And I'll set it right down in on top of a bigger piece of char cloth because our tinder is not the it is not the driest today. We had rain earlier. But see how you can just pick that out with that nice little hole we put in there, the notch, is a good idea. Then we're going to give this a shot. We don't always have the best tinder and char on hand. All right, let's get this rabbit cooked. That was a tough fire when things are damp. You really got to mess around. So carry dry tinder always. Okay, let's take care of this rabbit. Looks like a the owl took care of its brains. They're always after the rabbits. And they just go for the head. And I just make a cut across the back and pull. Do it the easy way. Get the back legs, that's where you got the most meat. Just want to show you here the intrals. Just made a slice here. 
and I'll pull them clean up from here. You want to cut that sack out, the pea sack. You don't want to taint your meat. You just pull them right like that. Just going to do some quick trail cooking here. Find a spot where you can jam in there good. And take your board and run it through. Hook it through where it's going to stay. Break it off. Get it in the cavity right there. I have to go rinse it off again. That'll be pretty good. All right, let's set this on the fire here. We'll start loading up stuff. I'll try to find hardwood. Get it hot. There you go, it's about ready. Cooking what we catch. 